Hey guys, what's up? This is Dr. Aeronautics, and this is Norsden Land Teniso. I think this is episode 21 now. And we are going to build the Transcontinental Railroad. Not all of it, but a good portion of it. We're going to build the line that runs from New Venice all the way across the land to Westport. Okay, so here we are uh, in the castle, or the, the capital building. Uh, I have some sulfur to put away. So I've rearranged the chests again. So here's what we have going on now. Um, we're bringing all the ores now that can be smelted into this box here. The wood is just there temporary. Everything else goes into uh, this chest here. You can still see there's gold and osmium that had gone in here before, which is now going in here. I'm storing all the chin in here. I'm storing all the copper in there. I'm storing all the iron and uh, coal in there. And I'm storing all the other stuff in here. So what's going on now is... Um, I put a chicken out here. The chicken flaps its wings, creating wind, which the wind turbines here then collect and use it to power this new electric furnace. We have indoor electricity now. This electric furnace smelts all of the ores that we need it to, and it drops them in this box here. This is what we have. Nearly seven and a half stacks, plus all of these rails with which to make the transcontinental railroad. So I'm hoping that it should be just over 1,500 blocks, and because it's uh, a direct 3,200 blocks to Westport, we should be able to get at least a third of the way to Westport, which is making a huge stride in the uh, Transcontinental Railroad. Returning from Westport, it took me two days of uh, full speed walking, absolutely no breaks. It took me two two days, morning to evening. With this uh, with this line going one third of the way out, we may possibly be able to shorten it to just one. If we got it far enough. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and reload the container here. So we want to keep this stuff smelting because what happens now is after it's all been smelted, uh, we get these ingots which we can then stack into blocks and the blocks store much more densely than the, uh, than the ingots. So we can actually store, we can continue to store more things in here uh, until it gets so out of control. But I don't even think we will ever need that much, even for a uh, even for a particle accelerator. We shouldn't need more than two or three large chests full of ingots. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, is make the rails uh, that we're going to use on the railroad. And then, uh, then I'm going to check up on the quarries. So, um, Quarry, oh shoot, I'm going to need a lot of uh, sticks, actually. So, uh, quarry news. Uh, the, the quarries that were uh, seen last episode are still running, although they're so close to uh, reaching bedrock that I have gone ahead and made two more quarries which are sitting waiting and as soon as the uh, the current quarries finish I am going to go ahead and move those over immediately so that no time is wasted in the uh, collection of materials and these quarries are larger than ever before they are 64 by 64 which is enormous Yeah, 
we're gonna have to do this in two trips. Jeez. I had no idea we had that much. That's a good thing, though. It's a very good thing. Alright, so we have almost an inventory full of tracks now. Uh, so I will go ahead and show you guys that quarry um, before we start building the railroad, or the, the double quarries, rather. Uh, they're sitting waiting for action, uh, but they're not going to be activated until the ones currently run out. Uh, well, they're not exactly sitting there waiting because I have to. Uh, I have to move. I have to move the quarries. And I'm sure all of you are saying, why don't you just hold shift and click? It's way faster. The reason being is I don't want my inventory to just spam fill up because I want to know how much I'm going to carry. And that is it. That is the end of our reserves. Or at least the end of the reserves that I'm permitting myself to take. I'm leaving four stacks of iron in here for, uh, for use other times. Okay, so let's see. That's going to be 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 stacks of rails. We have 22 stacks of rails that we can place. Uh, so it's nighttime now. I'm going to go ahead and reorganize my inventory, and we're going to set out at, at dawn. We're going to ride the train out as far as it goes first off. Okay, so I was able to fit all but seven stacks into my inventory. It's dawn now, so we're setting out. The great thing is the second time we go back, we'll be able to use the new, um, the new, actually, I have to, uh, do that. There we go. Uh, we can use the new track that we've placed. So here's our train, so we're going to go ahead and board and fuel it up, reset the brake, and now we just have to wait for it to warm up a bit. So we can begin to move now. According to the speed limits set forth, which means we don't get to go to full speed until we exit the tunnel. So now. So the plan for the night is to um, sleep in a bug out shelter. So I will just uh, build a, a quick shelter, not really a shelter, but a hole in the ground uh, where I will spend the nights um, in between building, because I am fairly certain that it's going to take at least a night to do this. Oh dear, uh, I guess he walked in front of the train. You don't want to walk in front of the train. Here is the Quarry 3 site.
Don't you dare think about walking in front of my train. Okay, here is the end of the line. And we'll set the brake here. Alright, so we're going to spend uh, this time right now to go visit the quarry that's currently operating. Um, quarries 4 and 5. And they are right over here. Uh, and they're still not done. Uh, but I have the blueprints for the next quarries. Quarries um, 6 and 7, which are the 64 by 64 quarries. Uh, you can see the you can see the red line over here, which denotes one of them. The other red line doesn't exist yet um, because of the positioning issues. So basically, what I'm waiting for now is for these quarries here to finish uh, their materials. Once they finish, then I will move on to um, where's the uh, where's the drill head for this other one. Missing a drill head. It's being powered. I guess it's safe to assume if we don't see a drill head uh, that it's finished. There you can see the, the quarry outline for the other quarries over there, uh, which means we're very, very near to the time. I didn't think we were that close to being out, um, but we are very, very near to the time. Yeah, that's working on uh, four quarries because of the other one not working, which means ve we are very, very near to the time when uh, the next quarries are going to be put in, and they're probably going to be after I get back from this first round of building the railroads, because I want no time wasted in not collecting materials, because, like, we're going to run out of tracks to place, and that's really going to suck, so, yeah. Okay, let's start building. We have 22 stacks, not quite all of them are on us. Either way, we're building now. The great thing about this thing is every meter uh, that of progress that we make, uh, a meter closer to Westport, which right now is 2,900 plus 12 miles out, and that's direct shot. I seriously doubt we would go straight um, to, in fact, I know the track because I made it. So go ahead and build the first bridge here. And that one was very low because it was just, we're just going over a, a small creek here, an impounded creek. Right, so there goes our first stack. Okay, now this really confuses me. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, okay. It seems that the railroad is intended to go this direction. Okay, so the marker is now changed to gravel. And we have come to our first major causeway.
So this one needs to be a little bit higher. Actually, this is fully impounded. I don't know why I decided to make this one higher instead of the other one. Um, maybe it was uh, flooding concerns or something. Uh, but either way, this one had to be made higher. Um, why is that one... I don't understand why that one was so high. Now we're going to have another problem, and that is we have to cross practically a lake. And, uh... It's near um, Moon River Town. So there's a problem with, yay, we finished. So now we can get the track across. This would be a great bridge to drive over in the train. I can't wait. Still looking really good on amount of rails right now. Um, so, we can do one of two things. First of all, the, okay, it's near dusk. So, what I'm going to do now is turn around, uh, and, what is that missing there? I'm going to turn around and we're going to spend the uh, the last little bit uh Now who seriously who would have done who would have done that All Right, we're going to spend the uh, the last little bit of light looking at the quarry and making sure that it's okay. If not, I'm going to move it. Uh and then we shall be back in the morning. But then uh, there was also something else that I think I wanted to say. Uh, but I can't recall what it was. Oh, yes. Uh, the Moon River Town thing. The lake is too wide for a bridge. It's just too wide. So we can do one of two things. One, risk flooding by putting down gravel in the lake. Or two, uh, risk mold by laying down... Uh, floating docks, so I'll have to choose one of the two, uh, and seeing that I don't have much wood on me, uh, floating dock is not preferable, so I'll have to make that decision. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go out to the middle of the water here, and then just basically sit and wait. Uh, if... Um, I think I, I think I know those three trees. Those three trees are very important because I might have used them one time uh, to get up high and avoid uh, conflictions with mobs. So uh, if this quarry stops overnight, I will restart it. Um, but. I will go ahead and stop it now so that I can get up on top of here. I'm fairly certain now that this is it. Then we'll resume the video in the morning. So I'm pretty sure this is it here. Uh, not a single block I had to destroy or place to get up here. Uh, so this is a nice little natural ladder. I'm perfectly safe up here. I'm 76. That boughs of the tree that overhang mean even spiders can't get me up here. So this is, is perfectly safe for the night. Okay, it's coming up to dawn now, so I can go down. Um, it's not nearly as hard as to get up, um, which is good on the mob aspect. So that's the second tree that I use, and then I drop down to this first one uh, that I use to get up, and then uh, go down this way. And that is how I get up reversed. So the quarry never finished, so I'm going to let that run, and uh, I will come back once we get to the end of the line. Right, so here is the end of the line right here, and we continue laying from here on. 
going to eventually need to do something about these vines. It's rather irritating that they keep on coming back. You have to uh, climb all the way up to the top of the trees in order to uh, stop the vines from growing, which is rather irritating. One of the uh, D-knacks for living in a, uh, a swamp. Um, we came with 17 stacks and we have 12 now so we're still doing all right um, and we're making eh, almost good between okay and good progress um, Westport is 2,700 miles even closer to 2,800 uh, I don't know why it feels like we're spending more uh, it feels like we're spending more on uh, actually making the the railroad uh, than we are getting closer to uh, Westport and I'm wondering is that because we're going south also and I hope that's the case um, because these rails are expensive and if I have to spend you know seven or eight thousand rails when I could have just spent 2700 I'm gonna be pissed because then that 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 means it takes four times the amount of quarries four times the amount of time four times the amount of resources uh, to put this track down and then once I'm done it takes four times the amount of time to drive uh, so that's really irritating. So that is why I got happier um, when I went further out. I started doing more straight track laying, uh, which was good. Okay, we're still doing all right on the amount of uh, resources that we have for bridges. Oh, dear. Something is wrong here. Okay, next causeway is done. So let's go ahead and roll across it. It's interesting the currents that must exist in this. Uh, Oh, uh, never mind, it's two meters here. I thought it was one meter, and I was about to say, the water only uses that channel down there at the end, but, um, oh, of course, it's because the, the river rounds a turn right here. It's responsible for that. If you don't question stuff, you'll never learn about it. Okay, what's going to happen if we, uh, that's just a bit of swamp there. Um, I'm going to lay some dirt down over this. And we'll go ahead and jump it right there. No need for a, uh, a full-on bridge, just a way for the water to, uh, to saturate so that we don't block anything up. So when they were building the uh, the Trans-Siberian Railroad, uh, they blocked up a whole bunch of swamps, and so they, they got a whole bunch of um, lakes surrounding the railroad. Because 
the water didn't have anywhere to go. There was no drainage. So that caused problems with the first trains that were going through there. Uh, and I want to learn from that and avoid having problems with my trains. Looks like we have about nine left, and uh, we're at 2,600 meters. Uh, it's slow work laying a railroad. You have to keep coming back, and you have to be ready to work the entire day. Speaking of which, oh, okay, that's not bad. It's only two o'clock. I should just shut my mouth and work, because it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. Okay, now I really like here. This is a straightaway. My train can go fast around because there's no curves. And that's interesting. Too bad it has to be removed. The train can go fast through here, and it's a direct shot straight out. You can see we're now in the 2500s. We're just under 2,600 miles from Westport still going straight up to here. This line is so long now, it's great. And uh, hopefully we'll make it to Moon River Town by um, night, because that gives us a shelter to stay uh, for the night. It's kind of interesting. I've like developed shelters going along the way. Um, first is, is that, that triple jump uh, tree that I go that I went over the first time. And then later on, it, it it's uh, Moon River Town, and then still further west, it is uh, it's that cave uh, in the Redwood Forest, that cave that we're going to use as a tunnel. So there's there's like certain safe houses, if you will, along the journey. Uh, various safe houses spaced at intervals that are convenient for staying the night. So that's the great thing. Is they're, they're not all clustered in the east, or they're not all in one area. They're spread out across the journey. Uh, six stacks left, and we're in the 2400s now. We should be close to Moon River Town now. And uh, it's going to get dark. Yes, it's going to get dark soon. still have six stacks. Okay, let's see. Where are we today? Oh, he's... Oh, no. That's just the sheet. Hmm. This one's probably going to need a bridge. Uh, it looks more river-like. Yeah, I think this one's going to need a bridge. Uh, we'll have to take this tree out. Um, but on the plus side, once we cross it on the bridge, uh, we'll, we'll be arriving in Moon River Town, which I can now see uh, off the edge of the map. I hope we have enough blocks to reach, uh, enough rails to reach Moon River Town. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to Moon River Town, which is just up ahead, and then I'll restart the video in the morning after I get back to the, uh, after I get back to where the current end of the line is. 
Okay, so I'm back from uh, Moon River Town now, and unfortunately, it looks like we we don't have quite enough uh, to reach Moon River Town on this uh, run. So hopefully, on the next one, we'll have enough uh, materials to make it there. So just get the next uh, causeway in. Okay, another bridge done, which means we can move forward. And hopefully those sheep won't stand on the tracks when I drive through because I need wool and it would be a shame to, uh, actually it would be a pity uh, to lose sheep that way um, because I need their wool. So it would stink. I'm hoping that I have uh, enough tracks all together uh, to bridge the um, to bridge the huge gap of water uh, on the other side of Moon River Town because that's a uh, that's a natural barrier which I want to get around before I run out of um, tracks because then it will reflect negatively on the next time I build, I'm going to be thinking to myself, ugh, I don't want to go back to building, because I'm immediately going to have to deal with that stupid, uh, that stupid wide piece of water. Well, that was an enormous waste of time. Wow, uh, we're nearly arriving in Moon River Town, and we still have about a little more than three stacks. Maybe we'll make it. I didn't think we were going to make it. We'll have to make a station here at some point. then when we're finished with uh, the Transcontinental Railroad entirely, once it links, uh, then we'll look into researching that, uh, that floating boat idea. I was going to do it now, but then I decided the, the railroad has more pressing issues. Uh, and it guarantees speedy travel. You don't know about the, uh, the, the boat yet, the, the floating boat. It's a new uh, technology that has not been explored. Wow, we're pretty much here in Moon River Town. 
Uh, and now I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, it's shallow. We could just we could just lay gravel down here. I don't see a problem with with doing that here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that then. We'll just lay gravel down for the time being. Right now, the problem comes when it gets deeper, uh, which is right here. Uh, we won't be able to use cobble, but you know what we can do, actually, is anchor the railroad with cobblestone to the side of the buildings. So that will work. Uh, so we can do this. need a support column under here. And then it goes back to dirt again. So let's go ahead and bring the railroad up to here. Um, I'm thinking for a station um, We'll make the platform be, uh, hello, um, we'll make the platform be under this guy's church. I think that's pretty cool. We'll, we'll just, we'll just make the platform be the area under the church there. That way he has a way to get down, and then I can jump into the house whenever I want to, uh, escape, uh, from the night, which is good. Okay, now here's the hard part. Um, we're through Moon River Town, which is great. Uh, and we'll, we'll get started on this, and I should have enough to, to finish off this this huge thing. But, um, just, just wow. Uh, yeah, so there's a column there. Right, so we need columns here um, because the dirt can't support uh, the full weight of the train. So we can do that. But then we get to a point right out from it. We can go uh, out to here. And now we're kind of stuck. So I think, I think we will do a hybrid design. We kind of did the first design and now we're going to do the second design. We're going to lay some floating dock here. Um, it's near night, so I'm probably going to stay here for the night, and then I'll head back. Uh, so I'm going to pick up the, the old rails as well, and some of the floating dock will be here next time. Right, so here we are um, back in uh, Moon River Town. The train has arrived for the first time on the new track. Uh, and I've just been thinking we're going to need a slow speed limit zone through here um, because of the danger of running any villagers over. We don't want that. Um, that's very dangerous. So we're going to have to uh, enforce a speed limit so that that won't happen. Okay, so here's our station platform, and he's jumping for joy, you can see there, um, because they can now get into this house, and the train also rides through. So that's two good things at once. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I decided on, again, a hybrid bridge. Uh, I should need 23 logs to build this. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build floating uh, bridge up to here. But because there's going to be um, boat traffic 
underneath we will have to go up uh, for a little bit. not want that to happen. And this is going to be pretty cool. Um, it's a bridge that features everything. I like it when you when you drive. Um, it's always fun to drive a train over a, a causeway that becomes a trestle, that becomes a uh, street. Something to go over the street. It's just really cool to... Um, drive on a bridge and it you know it just keeps on changing they're really fun to drive on and of course now it's night again uh, so I think I got the uh, the measurements wrong by one we need to go up further if we're to have boat traffic through here So that's what we're looking for. Um, although that doesn't look very stable for some reason. But it's it's an arch, so it should be. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we drive over it. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe this is why it doesn't look very stable. So then here, it starts the floating bridge again. Uh, but it's late, so I'm going to go back now until the morning. Another day, another mile. Boom, there's the mile for the day. Just kidding. Okay, um, so we're going to continue the line now over this bridge. Uh, back to the floating portion again, which we have to... Uh, make. Okay, and now it reverts back to the floating section again. So we'll go ahead and bring this out to where it's supposed to go. Town is going to be a great place to drive a train. Okay, and then this here is is to make sure is to hold the um, hold the two segments solid so that they can't move. And this is where the second segment goes. It's actually going to sit on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and end it with a. Uh, block right there. Okay. So now we can lay the track across and we'll be done with this. Okay, back on solid land again, and we have six and a half stacks. We are 2,250 miles from New Venice. It would be great to break 2,000.
because that would mean um, we'd be one third of the way along. This looks like it's going to need a ravine trussle. Not quite a ravine, just a uh, just a ditch trussle. Now this is a straight section here. We have already placed a lot of um, blocks or rails. We're now down to. Uh, just over five stacks. We're also about 2,150 now. Still in the uh, the one hundreds. Hopefully that will change now that uh, we're up to this portion. Now we head west again. Just over four stacks left. We're starting to run down now. Still 2100. Okay, now I remember this glitch over here um, we were going to place earlier. We can just put grout down uh, for the part here. Now I do remember I said it was okay to make that one little thing there um, because as I recall there was a special landmark uh, at this area. Maybe a, a junction of some kind or, or something. I don't know, maybe maybe we're not to the junction yet, but some something, uh, I feel like it's either a node or something important, maybe of uh, going flat across. Just under three stacks now, we're 2,080 miles from. We should be able to break 2,000 before we run out. This straight section is great because it uh, moves the railroad much closer to Westport. Okay, and here comes the next turn. Two stacks left. Okay, we're on solid ground now, so the track should run as straight as an arrow. We'll need to lay some uh, foundation here across this pot pond. Two thousand nineteen ninety nine. We've done it. We're one third of the way there. We've broken two thousand. Just in time. We only have about a stack and a half left. And we're in a good place to continue on from here. Uh, at um, solid ground. One stack left.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Oh, come on. It has to end on a turn. One. Zero. We're 1,934 miles to Westport, and we're 1,321 miles to New Venice. So we're just over a third of the way there. Uh, I don't have the map with us now to check. Um, but there's still a long way to go. But the railroad now goes much further, so possibly in one day you might be able to make the journey. Um, probably not there yet, but, but we're getting close. At least now you can stop off at, at the various stops and sightsee. So I'm going to head back now, and then I will um, we'll end the episode as I change out the quarries, and then we'll just see the beginning operation of the new giant quarries uh, in action, the turbo quarries, I guess I'll call them. So, I will see you guys in a few minutes when I arrive back. Well, guys, we're back. Um, I've been waiting for days for this quarry to stop. I don't know why this one finished so early before this one, but um, it's just going to be too long if we wait for it. So, uh, we'll work more on the Transcontinental Railroad uh, next time. And I urge you guys to stay tuned uh, for the flight back to the moon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.